How's it going, 11s? Still busy with equations. Today, what we're going to move on to is solving equations by squaring both sides. So this is going to be involving thirds. Okay. So example one, solve for x. We've got the square root of x plus 2 equals x minus 4. All right. So I'm just going to move this and we can do it on a piece of paper together. Okay, x. So, example one, we've got x plus 2 square root equals x minus 4. Okay, so first of all, what I want you guys to do is I want you to get the third on its own, okay? So if there's something there that doesn't belong with the third, take it to the other side. So I'm just going to jump ahead quickly and just show you example two and show you what I mean by that. Here you've got this minus x. It's not part of the third, okay? So what we would do there is we would take it to the other side, all right? Whereas this one, we don't have to do anything like that because we've already got the third on its own, okay? Once you've got the third on its own, what I want you to do is square both sides. Okay? And I'm just going to put a star here because we're going to come back to this just now. All right. Now, the square root and the square will cancel and you're left with x plus 2. Now, remember, this means that we've got two of these brackets. Okay, that's what the squared means. So we've got x minus 4, x minus 4. Okay, x plus 2. All I do here is I FOIL out, first outer, inner, last. So the first will give us x squared. The outers will give us minus 4x, inners minus 4x, so we get minus 8x. And then the last will give us plus 16. Okay, so now what we've got is just a normal equation where I'm going to take everything to the right-hand side so that our highest power of x is positive. So we get 0 is equal to x squared. Take the x to the other side, becomes a minus, so we get minus 9x. Take the 2 to the other side, becomes a minus, and we get plus 14. And what we can do now is we can factorize this. Okay, and then we can solve x is equal to 7 or x is equal to 2. Now, the reason why I put a star up here is we need to check our solutions, all right? The reason why is because we squared it. So what I need to do is just do a check. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the left-hand side and the right-hand side of the equation for both of our solutions. Okay, so... I'm going to come back to the star, and just before I squared it, and that's why I put the in the red uh, ink, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the original one. So on the left-hand side of the equation, we have the square root of x plus 2, and we solve for x here to be 7. So I'm just going to plug 7 in there, and we get 7 plus 2 square root, which gives us the square root of 9, which gives us 3. Okay. Then on the right-hand side, I'm going to substitute for that x there, and we get 7 minus 4, which gives us 3. So here, the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, which is good, because then that means that the 7 is a solution. What I need to do now is I need to check this 2. So again, left-hand side, we've got the square root of 2 plus 2. And then on the right-hand side, we'll have 2 minus 4. Okay, so on this side here, we get the square root of 4, which is equal to 2. Sorry. Okay. On this side here, 2 minus 4 is minus 2. So you can see that the left-hand side is not equal to the right-hand side. We've got 2, negative 2. So here, the left-hand side is not equal to the right-hand side. That means that this 2 here is not a solution for this problem. So, therefore, x is equal to 7 only. Okay? You must do this check, grade 11, so it'll show you which ones are solutions or not. Now, sometimes both of them come out to be a solution. 
in this case, only one of them came out to be a solution, but we must check, okay? Going on to example two. Example two, just show you quickly. Solve for x, the square root of x plus 34 minus x equals zero. Isolate the radical on one side, which I'll show you now, okay? So let's go through it. Example two. Okay, so like I explained earlier, what we need to do is we need to get that third on its own. So this minus x is messing us around. I just take it to the other side and we get x plus 34 is equal to x plus 4. Okay, now once I've got that third on its own, I can square both sides. And again, I'm going to put a star here because I'm going to come back to it without check. Okay. So the third and the square cancel, and we're left with x plus 34 equals, remember that this means two brackets, so we've got x plus 4, x plus 4. I'm just going to foil that out, and we get x plus 34 is equal to firsts, gives us x squared, outers gives us plus 4x, inners gives us plus 4x, so that's plus 8x, then the last gives us plus 16. I'm going to take everything to the right hand side, so our highest power of x is positive, so we get zero is equal to x squared. Take that to that side, becomes a minus, so we get plus seven x. Take that to that side and it becomes a minus, and we get minus 18. Okay, we can factorize now. And then solve for x. Right, so we've got two x values. Now we need to check, are they solutions for our problem? So check. Left hand side, right hand side. Left hand side, right hand side. Okay, so. Come back to here where I put the star on the left hand side. We're going to substitute this x value into here and we get the square root of minus 9 plus 34. Then on the right hand side we'll get minus 9 plus 4. Minus 9 plus 4. Okay, so let's work out what this is. Minus 9 plus 34 will give us 25. And then the square root of 25 is 5. Over here, we get minus 9 plus 4 will give us minus 5. You can see that 5 is not equal to minus 5, so therefore left-hand side is not equal to the right-hand side. That means that minus 9 is not a solution to this problem. We must just check our other x value. So on the left-hand side, we've got 2 plus 36. Remember, I'm substituting it into here. On the right hand side here, we'll get two plus four. So, uh, that's 34, sorry. Gave you the answer instead. So two plus 34 is 36. Square root of 36 is six. On the right hand side, we get six. So left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Okay, that means that x equals to two is a solution, therefore, x is equal to 2 is the only solution. All right, let's go through example 3. Let's show you quickly. So, solve for x, the square root of x minus 2 plus 3 equals 10 over the square root of x minus 2. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use what you learned with the substitution method or the K method, okay? Because you can see here, I need to get rid of this denominator, so I need to multiply up by it, but you can see that's going to be a little bit hectic. And remember, if it starts getting a little bit hectic like that, use the
the K method. And you can see that this entire thing, that square root of X minus 2, repeats over here. Okay. So, let K be equal to the square root of X minus 2. So, this thing becomes K plus 3 equals 10 over K. So what we can do now is we can multiply through by our LCD, which is just K. So if I multiply this by K, I get K squared. Multiply this by K, we get plus 3K. And multiply this K, the Ks will cancel and you're left with 10. Take everything to the left hand side and set it equal to zero. And then factorize. Okay, solve for k, so we get k is equal to minus 5, or k is equal to 2. But now remember, the question is solve for x. So with the k method, remember we need to back substitute now. Um, so this is now going to be replaced with that, so we get the square root of x minus 2 is equal to minus 5. And the other one here for this k will be the square root of x minus 2 equals 2. Okay. Now, this one is a little bit more trickier. Okay. For example, this one here. This is the positive square root. This is the positive square root, positive square root, positive square root. You know this, grade 11s, because you know when you take the square root of something, it's always plus or minus, okay? So they will specify if there's a negative in the front, if the square root is negative. If it's just a positive, we don't need to put the positive in the front there. Automatically, it's positive. So this is automatically a positive. Now, you cannot get a positive number equal to a negative number, okay? Also, you can't take the square root of something and it'll be negative. So, for this one here, there is no solution. Okay. This one here. Now, what I want you to do, to do is just show you with the previous examples. Now, the reason why I had to do this check is because we had a variable on the right-hand side. Okay. And exactly the same thing with this one here. We had a variable on the right-hand side. With this one here, we don't have a variable. So I don't need to do the check. Only if you have a variable on that side would you have to do the check. So all I have to do here is square, square, and we get x minus 2 is equal to 4. So x is equal to 6. And that is your solution. Okay. Right, grade 11. So what I would like you to do is exercise 2.4 for me, please. Thank you.